sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girls. But Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, Chemical X. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born! Using their ultra superpowers, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup have dedicated their lives to fighting crime and the forces of evil! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. The Powerpuff Girl team is back here in 6th Gen. Never thought I'd get to see this team go up against the Power Rangers. Powerpuff Girls versus the Power Rangers. Who will win today's battle is against Chewie. Now I start off with the mayor, just looking at his team. Nothing really wanted to take just tons of teardrops from the mayor. Um, I could have switched out predicting the Thunderbolt, which probably would have KO'd, but I figured he'd go for Volt Switch, so I decided to just stay in here, go for a Hydro Pump, and the mayor is able to hit Bastiodon or Billy really, really, really hard, uh, bringing it down to Sturdy. And now I just have to hit one more. Of course, the mayor is Specs. He has that nice monocle. So the specs is the perfect item for the mayor. Um, so he is able to take down Billy really early on here, which is nice. No stealth rocks, uh, no crazy um, metal burst shenanigans or anything like that. As my opponent goes back out in a Trini, uh, I decide now is a good time to go into Professor Utonium. Uh, Professor Utonium is a really good way to scout the situation out for the girls. Uh, just to make sure I have all the information that I can and have it fully analyzed. Just in an analytic Porygon 2 allows me to take a lot of hits there. Unfortunately, I do get paralyzed, which is a little bit annoying. I just decided to go for recover there to try to get some of that HP back. Did not see Zack using knockoff. I don't think I've ever seen a Mammoth Swine with knockoff, but that works out really well here as he's able to deprive me of my Eevee Light and then take me out with a superpower. So the analytic boosted uh, stab Try attack did a lot of damage to Mammal Swine, so I was really impressed with that. Now here, it's about time that the Powerpuff Girls go ahead and leap into action. I didn't have any reason to not just send Blossom in immediately and go directly for Flare Blitz. Yes, Mammal Swine often has thick fat for its ability, but at that low HP, Blossom can definitely take it out. Now having Jason come out right after that, I don't really have anything to hit Jason. Uh, with Blossom, so Buttercup, being the feisty girl that she is, is going to come in here to expect an, uh, if he goes for the ground type attack or the rock type attack, Buttercup can definitely take those. Um, and maybe I'll get an opportunity to use Work Up and, and really punch something hard, but knowing that he'd probably switch, I just went for Giga Drain, and that works out pretty well just because I'm able to knock Kimberly down to a really, really low amount of HP as it switches in. Uh, since I don't see um, the mayor really participating in this battle too much, it's a good idea for the mayor to just go home. So I bring in mayor here so that I can get sent home by the aerial ace. Uh, and now is a good opportunity to bring in Bubbles to kind of avenge the mayor because you guys know Bubbles. She she really goes well with the mayor. So um, having the ability to go for really really powerful Aqua Jets with the choice band, just brute power Aqua Jets, Bubbles is not to be messed with. I'm expecting another Volt Switch. We're going to go back on in the Buttercup here. Just kind of tagging in and out between the Powerpuff Girls. They're just such a good trio. They work really, really well together. And here, I know that Aerodactyl obviously outspeeds me, so I'm going to go out into Blossom here uh, just to take the Aerial Ace. That works out, but unfortunately, I don't really have anything to hit uh, Aerodactyl with besides a quick attack. So we're going to go down to Earthquake. And... When one Powerpuff Girl gets knocked down, the other Powerpuff Girls really just, they kind of get angry and they pick up, they more than pick up the slap. Because Bubbles is able to come in here, immediately revenge kill, get some, get some nice vengeance for Blossom. Uh, and of course, Raiko or Trina is out here, but we saw from earlier how much the damage that I can do with Aqua Jet, but we're not going to risk that. There's no point in really risking the... Uh, the 2 hit KO there because I really need bubbles for the end game here. Um, the more that her sisters get beat up, the more angry bubbles gets, and you really don't want to get messed with a uh, pissed off bubbles. Just not a good idea. Uh, so, expecting another switch, going straight for close combat, doing some fantastic damage to Jason, the leader, as he switches in. But I am surprised by a scarf here, and 
that just shows why Jason is the leader. He's really able to just put his head down, charge through those, the situation. But unfortunately, uh, we do have a double down situation there. I, for some reason, Mojo Jojo slows up to this fight. I'm not really sure why he's here. Uh, typically, he gets to get into some nasty plot shenanigans and, and you know, do the types, types of things that villains do. But he's not going to be able to do too much of that in this particular battle. Uh, Tommy finally enters the battle. And it just so happens that Tommy basically completely walls Mojo Jojo. Uh, we have the normal gym strengthening rounds power. But with the sandstorm up, that's not going to do anything. Uh, I don't even have water pulse on this particular um, Mojo Jojo set. So Mojo Jojo, you're definitely going to need to think of some more evil plans in the future just to give you a little bit more variety. Uh, but we're, we're able to get some chip damage in on uh, Tyranitar as he starts to raise his speed and attack. This is not good to have to deal with Tommy in this regard. Um, yeah, unfortunately, after the dragon ends, he's even able to outspeed Mojo Jojo, and Mojo Jojo is pretty quick. But um, once again, this is exactly why we have saved bubbles for this situation. Uh, two Aqua Jets are going to be enough to clean out uh, Tommy the Tyranitar. And fortunately for me, there are only two turns left to Sandstorm, so Bubbles won't have to fight in adverse weather conditions for too long, and maybe she can clinch out the end of this battle. As Trini switches in, this really just comes down to whether or not Bubbles has the willpower to finish it off with one more Aqua Jet. And fortunately, I'm able to barely clinch out that victory. So fantastic job, Powerpuff Girls. Bubbles, you really put the team on your back on, on your on your back that battle. Excuse me. Uh, I just I just get so excited when I get to watch the Powerpuff Girls every Saturday morning. And so I'm happy that you guys tuned in to watch this episode with me. Powerpuff Girls versus the Power Rangers. Very interesting. I would like to see that death battle. So let's do attack. So I have that idea. I don't know why those two are being matched up. They're not similar to me. But anyways, have a great day.